Hey, what is going on, everybody? Welcome to Jaws of the Lion. The you <laughs> really did. Some, some aggressive box showing. I like yes, it. Yes, Gloomhaven Jaws of the Lion. She's getting fired up. This so, is going nice. I wasn't going to say an episode number because I couldn't remember what episode we were up to, so I was just going to oh gloss God. over that. Uh, so, yes, welcome to our Sudden Death. Sudden Death. Yes, Jaws of the Lion campaign. Why are we playing Sudden Death, you ask? Because we want to. Because we want to. We didn't want to stop playing Jaws of the Lion when we'd finished the tutorial because we like playing Jaws of the Lion. It's so awesome. instead, we've decided to just crack on, carry on, until... We both Such die. Time, yes. Until we both die in a scenario, and then we are going to call it for the filmed version mm -hmm. of Jaws of the Lion, and but we will continue to play it, probably, <laughs> along with the millions of other games we have to play. Welcome on back. Yes. To recap what had just happened, we just had this conversation. Mm -hmm. We, it's been a while, but <laughs> we'd just been to a university. Yes, we had. Or a research centre with a... Pulsating. Yeah, we took it. A pulsating we took this blood bloody tumor. thing and went, here, look at this. And then he went, hey, thanks, I will. And then it all went to custard. Mm. Things, people died, explosions were rampant, rats. things. Were there rats? Lots of rats. Gross. Things went wrong. Yes, it did. But following that, he <laughs> was like, hey, hey, do you know what? I've managed to make this little doohickey. And you can use this doohickey to find more blood tumours around Gloomhaven, you have some options. You can go to... The Sunken uh, Tumour? Or... The Hidden Tumour. Right, so we've put our heads together and decided to go... Sunken Tumour. We're going to the Sunken Tumour. So, Scenario 7. Mm -hmm. What do you need to know about Gloomhaven before we get into it? Look, if you're at Episode 9 and you're not sure... Go you need to go again. back and watch some more. Watch go back the other and watch how it goes. Uh, easy enough explained. You're going to draw two cards for your turn. You're going to play the top of one. You can play the bottom of the other. You can't play two tops. You can't play two bottoms. No. Nope. And nice. you're going to just crack on with it. In the middle is an initiative number. Lowest to highest goes first. Yes. I am playing as the Demolitionist. Sarah is playing as... The Void Warden. And what items is this Void Warden taking in with the us? The Void what? The Void Warden taking in with Thank us you. today. I've got a stamina portion, which lets me get a card back from my discard pile. Mm -hmm. I've got some winged shoes, which allows me to fly. Well, jump, not fly. Mm -hmm. I like to think it allows you to fly, but it really allows you to jump. Yes. Um, and then I also have... I don't think I don't you have... are also taking anything else. No. Because yes. only one consumable at level two, which is which what is we're what at. We I am demolitionist thing with some jet boots that I found from my side quest, which was awesome. An iron spear, which lets me att melee attack from one hex away. And I'm gonna take. I had a choice. Of, I was gonna take. I'm gonna take the mm -hmm. fateful compass, Ooh. which is I can force one enemy within range three to move two. Um, now battle goals. You've divvied us out some battle goals, and I have chosen to do this one. Yep, I'll try and do that. I have chosen to do this one. Uh, we will see. Yeah. So, let's shoot it on down to the book. Um, I also just want to put out that we are going to be playing with the Gloomhaven Helper app, as we have been for all of the scenarios. Yes. Uh, just, it's super useful. Yes, it is. So, welcome to the app. I have made sure I'm recording it. And we should be oh, use the early, to go. Uh, Watch the early ones. Oh, and then, no. uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So. Oh, sorry, I was just resetting my dial. I don't know why I said okay. Go for it. <laughs> I was waiting for the... What oh, Sarah, at? what am I looking at? There you go. So this is the board. It's actually a reasonably small one today. Mm. Um, we don't need a supplementary... No supplementary book for the map. But, yes, not for the map. Um, so blue ones are doors, purple is difficult terrain, which means it takes two to step into a hex of difficult terrain, only one to step out. That's pretty gooey. Um, <laughs> That's pretty gooey. <laughs> pretty gooey. Green is an obstacle. You can shoot over it. You can jump over it. You uh, cannot stand on it. Like, you can't end your turn on it. Uh, you can also destroy it if you really want, which I feel like that's something the Demolished does. Mm -hmm. um, even though this map shows you where all the enemies will be, 
you don't activate them until the door opens. Hence, oh, hence we, I haven't put them all on, just realised that is part of one. So hence, there's three in this room, but this one here, you can't, I haven't put any on here because otherwise we might accidentally do them. Uh, so they want, these guys won't activate and these guys won't. I have put the blood tumour in his room already because uh, why not? Yeah, just because I wanted to. Yeah, because I wanted to. The, where the other guys aren't. But the uh, he's not active right now. So I'll lie him down. He's just chilling. Okay. So not know anything about us. I was just, I forgot that I had a limit of cards. So I was just going through that. Yes, that's something I will need to do as well. Sweet. So we uh, start over here. We can start anywhere. I like to start really behind, behind me. Behind. Yes. You can start there or there. I don't know which one you prefer. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got the monster modifiers yep which you can't see because they're under there nope um if you want to have a read i will sort my cards out okay we are doing the sunken tumor the goal of this scenario is to kill the blood tumor the sinking market a large area along the western coast of gloomhaven where you only go if you don't have any money to if, if you don't have any money to steal or you want to operate outside the view of the city guard the whole district is slowly sinking into the Merchant's Bay, and the city has abandoned it, leaving it to rot of its own accord. There are a great number of deserted houses in the area, half sunk in the silt, but only one cluster shows the signs of a sinister growth within. Gr you grip your weapon and kick in the closest door. <gasps> what follows is a cacophony of screeches and the realisation that vermlings have once again entered your life. Not only that, but more of the zealots are lurking in the back of the room. Ugh. More flunkies up to no good. <laughs> right, so that's all we're reading. When we hit this door, we're going to carry on. There are some no special rules for in the door. That's it. We're into it. So let's yes, have a we look. Are. We have some an elite vermling. Let's add them. Can you give me some numbers? I'm going to add an elite vermling. Number four. An elite vermling. Oh, oh, the vermin, sorry, the vermin scouts are three elite yep. and a ten normal. Ten and then, normal, yep. And, and then a the... four elite zealot. Okay, so elite vermin has a life of five, regular life of three, and the zealot has a life of eight. Uh, purple was difficult terrain, cost two to walk into. Yep, we already went through that. Yep, no, it's for me, I wasn't listening. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, we don't know what they're going to do. All we know is the elite zealot is going to wound when he attacks. Oh, I hate wounds. Exactly. Oh, do I want that one? Um, that's quite useful. Do I want it? More than that one? That's interesting. That one. Um, oh, yes, got it. I shouldn't have taken this one. No, I'm not taking that one. What I do like about Jaws the Lion no. is Oh, that... you can decide before you go, can't you? Because so I've taken a card I don't We've always played, when we've been playing normal Gloomhaven, we've always played that you decide what cards you're taking before you see the scenario. But as Jaws of the Lion is a learning, um, like an introduction to Gloomhaven, mm -hmm. we learned that, as it says in this one, once you've seen the scenario, choose your cards. Yeah, that works out well because I took a card that uh, I didn't want to at all. So that's going to work out really well for I've me. I've got 12. I need to... How many do you need? Eleven. That's not helpful. I've got rid of you. three. It's my last one. I can't decide. Uh, I think I'm gonna try doing this, and yeah. then oh, I like that one. I like that one. That's gonna cause me damage. Uh, have I got? Don't know. That's not helpful. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. No, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Darn it. No, I don't want to do much. any of my cards. Can you do anything about that? <laughs> I, don't want to, no. I don't want to use any of them. Um, I'm going to do that. And so there's elements. They yeah. will show on the board. And we've said it before. You can't make an element and then use it in the same turn, which is a real pain. Yeah. yeah because sometimes, you know, your cards match up that way. Mm. Right. Yes. Now, we don't have to kill everything. The no. goal of this is just to kill the brute tumour. So, really... You don't really want to get swarmed, though. You know? No, but we need to get wriggling. Yeah, for sure. 
Uh, I'm ready when you are. Ready, ready, ready. So ready. many cards. I will just Google a check. Oh, yeah. All right, then. You good? Yeah, all right, then. All right. You ready? No. I'm ready, oh, but no. I'm not really ready. No, I chose the wrong card. Where's my card gone? Honestly. Very round ready. one, people. Ha! No! Oh, yeah, all right, then. All right. You ready? Go. Yes. 22. 49. 22 for me, 49 for That's you. So stressful choosing. Draw. Little zealot's going first. Moving three would jump and then melee attacking for two, wounding, cursing. One, two, three. Oh, that's they good. don't use two to go into that because it's jump. it's jump. And he also creates some wind. So let's make some wind. There we go. I don't need that's wind. him. Then it is my turn. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the bottom of crushing weight to move for two mm -hmm. and down to here. And yeah. then one adjacent enemy that is adjacent to a wall, which nice. is this guy, that, that suffers guy two is. damage. Awesome. So he gets it for two. One, two. I like that. Uh, so and when people then... suffer damage, you don't um, turn a card over for it. And um, No, have... suffering damage, they just take just it. Change yeah, it. you don't modify also, it. Also, um, yeah, armor doesn't. Negate it. Negate it yeah. And then I'm going to use the top of robotic enhancement to attack the elite vermling Which for one? two. Oh, the elite vermling for two, three, three. and stun him. Ooh, so nice. one, two, three, and he is stunned. So that puts him on two life. Uh, I believe that is my turn. I have moved, I have attacked. It is your turn. Mm -hmm. Right. I'm going to use the bottom of wicked. No, I'm not. I'm going to use the top of Turn Out the Lights. We've established that isn't the song. I don't know if it's stuck in my head now. <laughs> That's how it is. Right, the top of Turn Out the Lights. Yeah. Um, attack to range three. Mm. I'm going to... Attack the elite? Attack the elite. Do you... So the elite is stunned. I know, but I want to kill it. Have you got it? Can you move first? No. No? Okay then. No, it doesn't actually matter. Only because of, of like, if you kill that guy, then no, he that's... won't attack. No, I don't okay. want to move. Sweet. Kill the elite. What do you got? Oh, now you're making me think that I should kill the other guy. No, I don't. hit the elite. Um... No, no. You, you do you, man. You play how you want to play. Do it. Kill them all. Well, we need to. Well, we don't need to. We don't need to, but... Look, elites are always better to kill just because they're elites. They're going to hit for harder in the long run. Well, I'll hit the zealot. Okay. One, two, three. I'll hit the zealot. So I'm hitting for two. One. Okay, so he is now on seven life. Then I'm using the bot bottom of Wicked Scratch. Yes. Loot. There isn't any loot. Mm -hmm. But then strengthen within range three. So that's me. You're going to strengthen me. Thank you very oh. much. I am strengthened. I like that. There you go. Okay, that's your turn. Yes, it now is. Now the Vermling Scout. So the Elite is stunned. So he okay. doesn't do anything. Yep. Uh, the regular attacks me for two. Flip the Monster Modifier deck. It's a two. Two. All right. So I'm going to take two damage. Okay, what are you doing it on? Yes. I'll I like doing too. my... Um, I like doing the wheel as well, but, you know... I, I like is there any point doing it on both? No, I don't know. Do okay, so that is the end of the round. And now I've got to remember that I'm strengthened for the next round. Yes, you are. So okay. I can make sure you attack. Yes, uh, that seems like a sensible thing to do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You good? Yes, I am right. ready. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Flip it. 20, 20, oh, 26. 42. <gasps> 26 for you. Mm -hmm. 42 for me. Yep, I have put the right one. Draw. Draw. You're up first. Okay. What do you got? What have you got for us? Right, I'm going to move Word. the top of Resigned bottom. Frenzy. The bottom of Resigned Frenzy. I'm mm -hmm. going to move four. One, two, three. Four. Okay. Turn around. Right into the middle. Turn and face you. He, he's he's still stunned. No, uh, he's not no, anymore. no, not anymore. Okay. They're all about to go. Okay, I'll turn and face 
And there's that one. So that's that one. Yes. And then the top of freeze the soul. I'm going to attack for three and poison. Well, hopefully I won't need to poison because I'll be dead. Now the vermelines, just the heads up, aren't doing anything. Well, I need to, I, I can't yeah. do anything else. No, no, kill it. So you hit the two? Yes. That kills it. You kill the elite? Yes. Yeah, he's dead. Oh. Okay, is that you? That is me. All right, the zealot that moves for two and creates darkness. So would move to here and create darkness. Ooh, then, I oh, like no, darkness. no, no. It creates darkness. That's yeah. awesome. I lied. It's doing a range attack of two and wounding. So it's going to shoot you because you're yes. lowest initiative. Yes. Is that how that works in this game, in actually? In this game, it's actually we choose, but I'm happy to take it. Okay, cool. So you are going to get attacked for two and wounded. So one and wounded. So that's nice. not bad. Can you do it on that? I can. So you get hit for one and you're now wounded. Wounding means you take one damage at the start of your turn. Then it's going to heal itself for X. X is the number of damage that you suffered. So it heals itself for one. It's back up to eight. That is the end of its turn. The Vermling... Moves forward, jump, and loots one. I think because there's nothing for it to loot. Ah, uh, okay. So moves to here. Yeah. And loots one. So yeah. steals that coin. Because we didn't put a coin down. When we Forgot to put a coin down for yeah. the elite. All right, that's his turn. Then it is my turn, and I am strengthened. And I've picked these two cards. So I'm going to use the bottom of Piston Punch to basic move two to here. Mm -hmm. And then I am strengthened. So I'm going to use the top of one, two, punch. Firstly, so strengthened means I flip two modify cards and take the best. Yes, you do. And I'm doing two attacks. So first one is a two. So it's either a miss or a minus one. So I hit the elite zealot for one. Nice. And then my second attack is a one. So I'm still strengthened. So it's either a zero or a two. So I'm hitting him for two. Oh. That's just rubbish. Now, uh, my... Better than a miss and a minus one. Oh, definitely, yeah. Which is what it would have been if I wasn't strengthened. So, yeah. yes, that's a good point. Uh, now, my the rest of one-two punch states that I add a push to muddle and gain one XP if, that same, if the attack targets the same enemy twice. Mm. So, I push him for two, one, two, and he becomes muddled. Nice. Muddled means the opposite of strengthened. On his attack, he will flip two modify cards, take the worst. Yes. That is the end of my turn. I still haven't decided. We move into the next round. There is darkness, and you are wounded. Gonna do that. I have a plan. Okay, I'm it's good. Gunning plan. Are you ready? Yes. Flip. 36. 36 for you. I'm going 28. Are you moving? Possibly. Oh, no! You'll find out in a minute. I'm going first. So, my first thing is to basic attack the uh, vermling that's next to me with the top of Explode. So, just a basic attack. I'm no longer strengthened, and I need to yes, shuffle my modifiers. Yes, the end of the you would shuffle Because I drew my voice in. So, yes, I just need to did. quick shuffle these. I'm not strengthened, so I'm just flipping one, and I'm doing a basic attack of two, three. Nice. So, that kills that vermin. Boom. You get a coin. Let's put You're a coin a down there. Duty. Am I? I'm never the coin person. That's exciting. <laughs> okay, so that's that. And then I'm using the bottom of the big one to move for three and then destroy an adjacent obstacle to gain an XP and bless myself. So one, two, three, because it's difficult terrain, so it costs me two. Yes. I'm going to destroy that adjacent obstacle. Yes. To bless myself. Do I have a blessing card? Yes, you can. Blessings are temporary... Times two. Thank you very much. I'm going to shuffle that in. That's my turn. Right. Now you take one damage being wounded. Don't want to, but this could go Put you on five. horribly wrong. Now horribly wrong. I could lose all the cards very quickly. Or you could win. Yes. Happy. So I'm going to play the bottom of Grasp of Doom. Grasp of Doom, Doom yes. Which is move three. One, two, three. Open the door. I'm going to open the door. Okay, what so have you found? We've got a zealot. Hang on, what number is it? It's a regular one. A regular one. We've also got a regular six. A regular six, yep. Next. We've also got a regular six vermin scout. Regular six vermin scout, yep. A regular one vermin scout. Yep. Regretting my choices right now. 
and a elite five vermin scout. Good call. Should run away. So there are six creatures on the board. So, yep. Yes, yeah, six. Okay. Then I'm going to do the top. Oh, the top of cold embrace. Mm -hmm. This is a burn burn card. I'm going to curse at range three, targeting three. And uh, if I use the darkness, mm -hmm. I can add one to my range and one to my target. So I can attack at range four, target four. Okay. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, four. Or that one. Yeah, but I can, point, I can curse four. Nice. Let's so shuffle gonna... four curses into the monster modified deck. That's what I got. One, two, three, four. Nice. Not bad, eh? Curses um... are great because they affect all the, the monster deck. So not necessarily this monsters that we're fighting now, but these could come out while we're fighting the boss. Yes. You know, so curses just, they're, they're so helpful. And that gives me two Unless experience. they don't come out, in which case they're not helpful at all. Yes, but hopefully they will, because uh, I feel like I'm about to be attacked. Yeah, I think you are too. So you've burned that? I have burned Is that, that the end of your, car, your turn? turn? That is the end of my turn. Okay. Um, can I just put one thing out there? Just for food for thought? If you'd wanted to use your boots, you'd still have one movement left. I don't want to be closer. To move away. Oh. No, no. Sure? Yes. Okay. Yes, I will take it. All right, Vermin Scout. Elite five. Moves for two, attacks for three. One, two. Isn't that good? Uh, regular moves for two, attacks for two. Uh, the regular moves for two, attacks for two. Attacks you for two. Yeah. That puts you on three life. Oh, oh. That's the vermlings though. The zealots attack at range three. Um, Nothing. It's hard to one, two, three. Yeah. No, you're good. I feel like they needed to put lines in there, but yes, I see. It. And same with the other one. They're not moving either, but they are creating fire. Oh, I thought that would actually get my. That did not go as I planned, but obviously it's good. But you're you're still alive, so you're yes. not bad. Right, that's the end of the round. I thought I was going to do my... Um, Your my, battle goal. My battle goal. Battle goal. Didn't, didn't do my battle goal. Didn't do it. You ready? Lacking coffee in my life. But yes, I'm ready. Ready? Yep. 43. 43 for you. 19 for me. Grand. Draw. Okay, we're going first. Okay, I'm going to use the top of explosive blitz to attack the vermling that's next to you for two okay it's a ranged attack yep that is what i'm doing <laughs> and then i'm flipping a modify card so i'm hitting him for two too many zeros in my deck uh so six gets hit for two one two and i've created fire which was already there but now it is full there it's more than then I'm going to use the bottom of Implode with my jet boots to move for four with flight. Ooh. One, two, three, four. Mm. No, it's all right. I just wanted to be near there, you know? What are they all doing? Okay. And then I'm going to use, I'm going to burn my fateful compass to, during my turn, force one enemy within range three to move two. We'll move that elite down there. Because he's about to hit for four without moving, and I don't want to take oh, four damage. Yes, yes. So I'm going to burn my faithful compass. Oh. That's the end of my turn. Yes. You're taking one damage for being wounded, which puts you on two life. And now it is your turn. Right, I'm using the top of Black Boon, mm -hmm. and I'm healing for five, uh, but I'm poisoning myself. Okay, so healing for five gets rid of your wound. One, two, three, four, five, puts you up full life. But it does poison yourself yeah, hurts. and creates darkness. Uh, and creates darkness, yes. And then I'm doing the bottom of... Oh, you fucking... I had to. Were you trying to bless and poison me? I was going to bless you and poison someone else. Well, but nice. I can bless myself. Don't see why I can't. Doesn't say I can't. I will bless myself. Yeah, it's anyone within range two. Yeah, you yeah. are within range two. So I will bless myself and poison that dude. Poison number six. And who's then, got one life? Okay, I can poison... What's this one got? Uh, He's on full life, so three. <laughs> well, it's better to, I would say, poison yeah, him. Yeah, I'll poison him then. And I create ice. 
ice baby. Created. Ning, 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 ning. I feel like it's the wrong sound. A hundred percent. That's very much the wrong sound. And then I will shuffle that into my multiplier deck. Zealots. Elite Zealot number four is moving for one, attacking for four. That's him. Regular is moving for one. Now they can't move because that's difficult to rank. Oh, they don't fly. No, that's no. Not so they both can't move into there because it takes Fantastic. two to move into there. So they both just stand there. Good. That Boom. was a productive turn. Vermling for Scouts. On so the, the only one that's going to attack is the one that's next to you. I did try to kill it, but alas. And I'm poisoned, so it means we're pl they're plus, plus one, one damage. Okay, so it's attacking you for three. So it's four. Hits you for four. Just Ouch. heal. I know. Help. One, two, three, four. Oh, shiver me. That tremendous. is a lot of damage. Okay, that's them. That's the end of the round. I've got one card left, which means I need to short rest. Short resting means you shuffle your deck and you uh, discard a random. You could long rest, which means you miss a turn and choose which card you lose. But instead, I'm just going to lose. Oh, I was looking at them then. That's not the way to go. I'm going to lose this one. I've lost Explosive Blitz. Um, yep, I've picked. You good? Yes. Go. 67. 66. Ooh. 66 and 67. Draw. Okay, Vermling Scouts are going first. The Elite Vermling Scout is moving for four and attacking for one. So it moves to here. Yes. And attacks me for one. Nothing. Lucky. Yes. Yes, I am. I would like that. Regular Vermling, number one, moves for four. Oh, we could pick. I mean, it was closer to come to me because it would cost him one, two. To come to yeah, you, okay. it would cost one, two. Attacks you for zero. One. Okay, so two. you get hit for two because you're poisoned, which puts you on one life. The other Vermling... Oh, why does it attack me for... Oh, because plus one, yeah, yeah. The yeah. other Vermling... Are you sure this one shouldn't attack me? <laughs> Because now you're going to have to burn a card. Uh, the other Vermling attacks you for a base of zero. But you're poisoned. So that's one. So you burn a card to negate the damage. That's a really good card as well. Not anymore, it's not. Because okay, now it's a burn burned card. card. Force an enemy to attack another enemy. <sighs> it's burned now. If you'd done it the other way, if he'd attacked me, we would have been fine. Yes, but that's choosing, and he would have had to move two steps. They always go closest first. It's called cheating, Sierra. Yes. Okay, exactly. that's what and you do. do. Okay, it is now my turn. Which actually is going to work out oh, all right. I'm, this is not... Well, if we... If I... I'm going to die. Well, don't do that. Try not to die. Two from your discount. Three times. <laughs> what? These guys aren't moving. No, they're not. Range three, so only one of them's going to hit you. Oh, that's okay. Right. Okay, so I am using the top of Wind Up to make it active. And that says that on your next two attacks, you are adding plus two damage. Now, where's my little tokens? Got a little demolitionist token somewhere around here. <laughs> there we go. So, next two times I do damage, I add plus two. Then I'm going to use the bottom of one two punch to attack for one, which is going to be three because of wind up. And I'm going to flip the modifier card, which is two, which is five. So that kills the elite because he has five life. So he's dead. Nice. Put a I'm going to put a coin there. And then awesomely, the bottom part of that says loot one. Nice. So I'm going to get the coin. Yes, you are. And then I'm going to get the chest. What is the chest you chest have? Chest number 12. Give me something fantastic. Wrong book. Oh, really? Is it in the book that I have? There are four oh, yes. books. <laughs> four books that it could be in. There you go. Thank you. Yes, it's this book. Okay. Number what? 12, please. Five gold. Okay. One, two... Three. Not coins, just what? five gold, because coins are worth... Oh, yes, okay, so I'll just put a note on there uh, that I got five? Yes. Yeah, I just assumed, like... Right. Okay, so I got five. Not five coins. Five G. Five coins would be ten gold. Yeah, that's true. Cheater, cheater. I'm trying to cheat. You keep I'm stopping me. I'm trying. 
Okay, uh, that is the end of my turn. I have attacked, I have put wind up on. Mm -hmm. It is now your turn. Right. I'm going to uh, use Gift of the Void to heal for two, but all it does is get rid of my poison. There we go. I'm still on one life. Then I'm going to use the top of Lure of the Void. Gift of the Void, then Lure of the Void. Nice. You're voiding it up. I'm voiding it up. It's Disarm at range three. Nice. I'm disarm one of them, but I feel like I'm going to... The one that's going to hit you? Disarm that one. <laughs> range three. So I'm going to disarm that guy there. He the... is disarmed. Nice. Force the target to move one mm -hmm. with me controlling it. Okay. I mean, it doesn't matter too much, but I'll move him one away. Sure. Further to get to me. Okay. There you go. Is that you? That is me. Get my next oh, oh, did you want to I'll consume use the, the darkness, darkness to move? To, I didn't realise there was darkness. No, did I? Did I just make it? No, I didn't. I made no, it. no, that's been there. Nice. Okay, then I will use the darkness so you can move two. So move him even further and get an experience. Okay. Yeah, might as well get the XP, man. Absolutely. Uh, then it is the zealous. Oh, then I'm getting. Uh, oh, I can't get it. Doesn't matter. I was going to get a card back because I had another card. Oh, I but it's yeah. my card, so there's no point in getting a card back. Like in stamina portion. <laughs> right. So anyway. the zealots attack at range three. So none of them are within range three, but they do create Thanks fire. Goodness. I want them to create. And that is the again. end of their turn. The darkness was helpful. And that is the end of the round. All right. It's. It's. I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay. Draw. 26. 26 for you, 22 for me. It's not what I wanted to do. But... Draw. All right, I'm going I'm first. I'm just trying to stay alive right now. So I'm going to use the bottom of Explode to consume the fire to move for six. Ooh. One, two, three, four. Wait, what are they doing? Attacking at range Move two. Move attack. No, okay. I was looking at the. Um, I was looking at the zealots. Ah. Oh. I'm gonna move to there. Oh yes, it's all kind of Okay, so that is the bottom of explode. I consumed Ooh, the. Using the fire I consumed the. Two I consumed the fire. Oh, nice. Yeah, to add two, oh. and then I'm using the top of crushing weight, but I'm also gonna use my iron spear to add plus one to the range. So I'm gonna attack. Vermling 1 for a base of 5 because I'm attacking for 3 and then I add plus 2 attack if the target is against the wall. I feel like I'm wasting that and I should be targeting the zealots. They're against the wall. Where was I stood? Was it there? I feel like it was because I loot. Was you it looted. there? I looted yeah, there. Was too. Yeah, so I was there. So let me just assess. 1, 2, 3... No, one, two, three, four, five. I can't get within range of them. I don't think. One, two, three, four, five. No, I can't get there. So I am going to stay where I you was. You have six movement. I have six move, but that's plus two. Yeah, one. And you've used your boots. I've used my boots, yeah. So no, yeah. I am going to attack Vermling one with my spear, attacking for a base of five, getting plus one XP because he's adjacent to a wall. Why are you using the spear? Is it because it's a melee attack? Uh, because he's got the most life. No, no, but you said you were using your spear. What does Yeah, it's do? a melee. It gives me one hit. So I figure you can kill this guy because he's only got I'm... one life. Okay, I'm not attacking. I mean, that's, I this is what I'm doing. Okay. So I'm attacking that guy for 10. Whew. I think you killed him. He's dead. If I need to hit one of those. I tried. I just couldn't get there. Nope. So that was number one. Was actually eleven Coin. because he was poisoned. Uh, I do believe that's my turn. I have moved. I have attacked. Oh, it was actually plus two for wind up <laughs> as well. So I actually hit him for like thirteen. Really wish you'd hit him. <laughs> so that uses wind up. I get another XP for wind up, and that just goes into there. So that puts me on 3 XP. I yep. shuffle my modified deck. Now it is your turn. Right, I am healing for 5. Sounds like a good idea. But poisoning myself. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And you're poisoned. Done. Creating darkness. Okay. Um, and then I am moving. 
Mm -hmm. With what? Mud you? Uh, so that was Black Boon, mm -hmm. and then I'm using Resigned Frenzy. Um, and it's in Move 4. Okay. I can't use the Giants because I just created it. Yep. It's a shame. They are doing it range 2, so it's literally just there and there, so... Mm -hmm. Okay. Did you? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. No, it was only I just needed that card for heal for it to be low numbered. Oh, nice to get I just healing. needed the yeah, yeah. So I didn't really. Okay. Uh, Vermling scouts are gonna go move two attack for zero. So he he would he attack did. you. Yes. So he's attacking for zero. And he's curse missing. Yes. There it is. Uh, so that's his turn. Then the zealots are attacking for two. Uh, attacking for two. Tip, so, range two can't not, do it. Not moving. Nice. They're not moving. These guys range two. Not moving. That's the end of the round. Right. We need to get in that room. I'm trying. We can't walk around I'm trying, to, I'm trying to clear the path, kind of. All right. Drop. Eighty-eight. Sixty-eight. I almost went eighty-nine. That was zealots good. go first. Move one, but they can't, can't, but the elite can. He moves one. Attack for four. Can't. Doesn't matter. These guys can't move into the difficult terrain, so they stay where they are. It's your turn. Right, I will loot for one. Can't. Uh, with Wicked Scratch, yes. and then strengthen at range three. Woohoo! Then I use Gift of the Void, top bit. I'm going to poison number one. Okay. One, two, three. At range three. Yep. He's poisoned. At, uh, creating darkness. Then one adjacent ally. That's me. May perform an attack three, range four, targeting the target of the poison. Okay. But if you do that, you will suffer two damage. That's okay. Attack for three at range four. So I'm actually attacking for four because he's poisoned. And you're... And I'm strengthened. So I'm flopping two. Attacking for four. So I hit him for four. What was your bottom one? Miss oh. and Ooh. a zero. Ooh, at least I got rid of that for you. Yes, thank you very much. So I hit him okay. for four. And you got hit for two. One, two, three, four. And then I got hit for two, which... No, I'm not a very long scout. <laughs> one, two. Okay. Is that you? That was my turn. Vermling scout. Attacks me for two. Wouldn't you love it if you had a heal card? One. Okay, put some me on four. Does that need it shuffling yet? No. no, no. Haven't drawn any of their oh, stuff yeah, they yet. Got their, um... Then it's my turn. I'm strengthened. So, I'm... Wait, these aren't the cards I picked. These are the cards I picked. Yeah, because you only had four. So you choose them two. I've chosen the... I've... Do you know what? I picked the wrong two cards when I... Um... Should have been when, one of them one like... the other. No, I put... So I had four cards left. I put two sets of two down, and when I was picking my initiative, I picked up some cards and was like, this is my initiative, but I've actually used the wrong pair of cards, oh, no. so I'm just going to use the pair that I wasn't cheating. intending to, because I'm not trying to cheat. Can you even do anything? I mean, I can do stuff. Yeah, I can I can do stuff. I'm super helpful. They're not going there. Okay, you. so I'm going to use the bottom of robotic enhancement to move for four. Nice. This movement is unaffected by difficult terrain, but yeah. it's four anyway, so it doesn't around. really matter. So, one, two. I'm going to stand right there in the middle of them. Oh, that's you. I'm going to stand right there in the middle of them both. Yeah, all right. Yeah, just for funsies, really. Yeah, right. uh, and then I'm going to use the top of Implode to strengthen to attack something for three. Hopefully I can kill one of them. I'm going to strengthen attack. I'm going to try number six. Really? Yeah, because I want to do a lot of damage to him. Well, Strength get him out the way. Strengthened for three. Right. Taking the best. Five. Nice. So one, two, three, four, five. There we go. He's on one life. We still can't get to the door. Look, I did what I did. Now that is the end of the round. I'm still strengthened for one more round. And I need to shuffle my modifiers because I drew my miss. And I've got two cards left. Which now, I don't want to play anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Draw. Draw. 36. 36. I'm going. Oh, I put 39 in there for you. 36 for you, and I'm going 37. Ooh. Zealots are up first. Annoyingly. Darn it. 
That is not what I wanted. Okay. Healing. Urgh. Okay. Two. Elite one moves two, creating darkness. One, two. And then he attacks at range two for two. Wounding. Can't. It doesn't do anything. Regular ones. Ah. Don't need to move. They're both going to attack me at disadvantage because they're range attacking. So at least that's something. What's their range? Two. Range they of can't... two. They can't reach you. So they both Ooh. have to disadvantage attack me. It wouldn't step back into the door. Into the, I don't think so because it's no, not it's open. They door. wouldn't open the door. No. To them, that's a wall. Okay, so at least that's something. So they're both going to disadvantage attack me for one. So number one. Either misses, don't be in the bliss. Okay, so he misses. Right, I'll get rid of that miss. Doesn't wound, doesn't heal itself because he missed. Then the other one is the same thing. Disadvantage for one. Okay, so it hits me for one. <laughs> that, no, I'm not using the dial, I'm using this. Puts me on three life. Yeah, and so he heals that. himself. This was number six. Heals himself for one because oh. he hit me for one. Yep. Oh, yes. It's not the poisoned one. What's that? X is the dial. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's him. Sure turn. Right. I am going to use turn out the lights. <laughs> Uh, attack for two, range three. I'm not going to use the darkness. Are you going to attack? Firmly? This one. Okay. Do you see him on sure No, no, only because that Vermling is just taunting me. Yeah, <laughs> And he's going to attack me. I'm going to attack that one for two. He's poisoned, is he not? So it's three. You're attacking thing number, number one. one. Thing number one. Thing number one. And he's dead. Hit him for five. Yeah, he's dead. Good, my plan is working. Okay, you're gonna open the door, aren't you? <gasps> um, top or at the bottom of Grasp of Doom, mm -hmm. move three. I'm going to use the darkness to plus two. One, two, three, four, five. Can't get to the door. It's so far away. So no, I'm not opening the door. What a shame. Uh, but I'm taking that coin because okay. that's the end of my turn. That's the end of your turn. Now it's my turn. I was just going to um, open the door, but I'm not going to anymore. Why? Open the door. Do that first. <laughs> Let's get this show on the road. Uh, 50 minutes in. Uh, fine. I'm going to use the bottom of the big one to move the three. One, two. Open the door. <laughs> right. So this is, while you set this up, I will read the thing. You glance at the blood trail leading through the door, trail. and you know what lies on the other side. Another malevolent tumour, pulsating and dripping with foul, dark energy. You ready yourself for the fight ahead mm. and push forward. Special rules. The blood tumour starts the scenario with characters times two damage. Any time any other figure other than the blood tumour suffers damage, it heals that amount of damage. If the blood tumour is ever at its maximum hit point value, the scenario is lost. So minus four damage from it. I like that. Why? Sorry, it wasn't listening. Because if it ever heals to full life, oh, yeah. We, yeah, yeah. we lose. Then we've got a five. Character times two. So yeah, two times two is four. I have one more movement left. Well, I was He's not prepared for one. this. He Heal is... himself. He's What's healing he? himself for two. <laughs> yeah, this is not ideal. Uh, I have one more movement left. I moved for... I was there. One, two. I can move one more. So I'm going to move there into the room for three. Uh, that's all I can do. And then I'm using the top. Oh, see, it's just a complete waste. Oh, I can do it the other way. Let's just cycle it back. Before you moved in. Before I moved and opened the door. I'm all, only because I'm going to use my attack first. Before we... Be, oh, yeah. And then move. Yeah, no, so I'm going to do. Allow, allow. I'm going to do the attack of Piston Punch to attack for two. Three. Four. On Zealot Six. No, that's not five. That's not six. So he should be dead. Yes. Yes. So I'm attacking him first. And then I'm moving. And then I'm moving into the room, spawning all the things, doing the stuff. Can you put a ending down, there. I don't think you're remembering to put all these coins down. I totally have. You just stole one. Yeah, I did. Uh, that's the end of my turn. Now the Vermling Scout moves to three. One, two. 
<laughs> That's his turn. Blood Tumus does special one heal itself for the amount that there are characters. So two. So, so it on any time we attack anything other than him, he heals. So that's the end of the round. So if we attack anything right now... This is where you go right big. Now, oh, no, we have to kill it, yeah. Go big or we're going on. I'm going 37. 67. You're going 67. I have to remember to do that one as well. Draw. This could be the end. If he'd done special one then, would have been game over. Because he's yeah. going first. Which special two. There? Heal two, targeting all allies. So everybody heals two. So this guy heals two. This there. guy heals two. Not even near him. Two streets away. Yeah, two two away. streets away. The zealots. Only that zealot left. He moves for three with jump and then attacks for two. That melee attacks for two. Creates wind. Oh, I don't need wind. Why are those two zealots? Oh, those two zealots. The other two zealots move for three. One, two. No. And then they're going to attack me for two. No. And if they if they don't get a curse here, we've lost. Why? Unless I negate the damage. You've got cards. Yes. So okay, attacking for one. Yes. Zero. Okay, but I do get cursed. Can I have a curse, please? Then this one. Moves for no, two. Oh, he's blocked the blocking. Ah, uh, this curse needs to be shuffled into my modified deck. Okay, yeah, I know. I don't want to flip it. Attacking for one. Yes. Curse. I'm going to need that curse because he curses me again. <laughs> <laughs> they create wind, which is already created. Mm. Okay, so, so far, so good. No, how are you going to get to him? I don't know. It's my turn. What cards did I take? You have three moves. Okay. I'm going to use the bottom of the big one to move for three. One, two, oh, three. No. One, a little... two. No. Oh, is that a little, little sampler? I've moved for three. I can't do anything else. Destroy an adjacent obstacle to gain bliss. Mm. Can't do that. Then I'm going to use the top of one, two punch to attack for two and then attack for one. So the first thing I'm going to do is attack for two. I'm not strengthened. I had it for three. One, two, three. And then I tell it for one. Who did you attack? One. The tumor. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Okay. So that's that. Now, uh, because I used one, two punch, the same, it gets pushed two. And, but it doesn't get muddled because it can't be muddled. And I get one XP. That's my turn. You're up. Okay. What can you do? Do something useful. <laughs> this isn't looking good. What do you got? What's it say? The butcher is now any time any other figure. Yes. So I can't. So it's us, anything. them. You have to attack the tumor. It's not a tumor. Well, I can't even move that much. I won't move two into the room. Okay. With? Mm, with. I can't attack anything else. So I might as well move with that one. Move for two. Freeze the with soul. With freeze the soul. Just basic move. Yeah. And then? And then I can disarm because that doesn't hurt, does it? No, it doesn't hurt. So I will use Lure of the Void and disarm number five okay um zealot mm -hmm. and force them to move one with me controlling it and where would you like to move might as well move move them there out the way okay so i don't want to move them there right because no. i'd be in your way and then i'm going to use my stamina portion yes to get a card back okay that's your turn and then the vermling scout attacks at range four one, two, three. Attacks you for zero. Prefer if it didn't. Two, because you're poisoned. Mm. Mm. Mm hmm. One, two. Uh, that's it. That's the end of the round.
How much life does this thing have left? 14. That seems like a lot. Draw. 68. 68 for you. 22 for me. Draw. I'm going first. Okay. I'm going to use the oh, bottom of crushing cool. weight to move for two. One, two. Mm -hmm. One adjacent enemy that is adjacent to a wall suffers two damage. Nice. So blood tumor takes two damage. That's what Boom. we want. Then I'm using the top of implode to attack for three. If you could just do like ten damage. Ooh. I did six damage. That's not bad. So one, two, three, four, five, six. It's on six life. That is the end of my turn. Vermling Scouts. He moves one. Can't. He can't. Attacks at range three. One, two, three. Can't. Yes. That's him. Zealots. Okay. Elite Zealot moves for one. Regular Zealot moves for one, attacks for three. So, uh, so that one moves. Yeah. And attacks you. me for three. I think I really do with a curse. Mm, five. I'm going to burn a card from my hand. <laughs> so where you were like, mm, five. I'm burning a card from my hand to not take five damage. And then the other one attacks you. For Not three, let's, let's move that over there. Three, four, because you're poisoned, we're just going to kill you. So I need to get rid of Burn two. a card as well. Two cards. Two from your discard pile. That's not a good thing. No, no it is not. I need to shuffle my modified deck while I remember. Okay, oh, wait, five was disarmed. You're fine, you don't take any damage. Lucky. put that zero back on the top. Uh, yeah, zero goes back, back on in, top. Whichever. They definitely haven't had their double times two or their thingy yet. No. They're coming. Worrying and also glad. Sure turn. Right. Mm. Oh, I don't need to. That's even better. Right. I will use Master Influencer and mm -hmm. I will bless you. Okay. Bottom of Master Influence. Bottom of Master. Can I have Press a blessing card, please? No, you just didn't say no. Oh, bottom of Master to bless you. Thank you. Then I will poison the uh, the tumor. Mm hmm Inject it with a layer of poison and create ice. Oops. I forgot how to poison things. You pressed that. <laughs> Sorry, for some I don't know. It just it's based on me. Yeah. Yes. So I poisoned it and blessed you. And then the top of Wicked Scratch. One ally within range two. That's me. Can attack for three, creating darkness and giving me a point. Okay, I'm taking three. Two. It's poison, so it's three. One, two, three. I'd have preferred if it was like your times two. It wasn't. But he's almost dead. Three life left. One more hit, really. Then it's his turn. We'll see what happens. Special one. Heal itself for two, which gets rid of its poison. Oh, nice. That's helpful. Yes, yes, it is. There we go. That's the end of the round. Right, I'm short resting, which means shuffling and not getting rid of I have two card. cards left. Oh, that's my really good card. But it's okay, I'll just do... I mean, I can only do these two, so I'm going as early as I can. We'll see what happens. All right, draw. 68. 28. 68. Ground talk day for me. Right, I'm going first. All right. I am going to... Use the bottom, I mean, the top of explode to basic attack for two. Oh. This is all I can do. Wow. Flip one. Three. Three. Guess what? That's all I needed. That kills it. Then yes. I'm going to use the bottom of piston punch to stun one adjacent enemy. I'm going to stun Zealot three. Stuns him. And there's no leaf. So that's it. That's my turn. Zealots. First one attacks at range two, targeting two. Can't do it. That's the elite. Mm -hmm. Number three is stunned, so he does nothing. Number five attacks at range two, so attacks me for one. Five. Hits me for one. But do you know who can't be healed? That's not yours. Oh, that a blood tumor can't be healed, so it just hits me for one. Yes. Puts me on two life. No fire to consume. It does muddle me, but it's not going to matter. Five. Zealots. Uh, that was number five because number three was stunned. Number four couldn't do anything. Then it's your turn. Number five hit me. No, oh, because it's a range attack. Oh, 
Oh, and then it would hit you at disadvantage. You're right. It just hit you. Oh, they hit For one. Disadvantage that misses, but it does muddle you. That sucks. Uh, that's it. That's their turn. Now it's your turn. Right. Oh, I was going to bless you, but now. One of them. You know what? I'm not going to bless you. You don't need to. I'm, I'm going to use the bottom of. Use whatever gets you the most XP. Master Influencer. I'm going to use basic move two. Onto the coin. The coin. <laughs> and then the top of Wicked Scratch, yep. one ally within range two may perform an attack three, creating darkness. Mm -hmm. And oh, whoops, created some lighting. And give myself a point. I hit it with two. Nice. Congrats. So that's number three. Yes. Oh, it doesn't kill him, so it doesn't do anything. Yep. Up for two, and boom! That is the end. And they can't attack, yeah. And then the Vermling can't attack. End of the round. Can you get supplementary book two, page yes, two. or scenario two, please? So, sunken tumor. Okay. The pulse, uh, the pulsing of the tumor sh slows and then stops altogether. It is ruined, hacked up, and <laughs> and marred, marred. Of course. Beyond all recognition. Oh, of course. Beat it to a pulp. <laughs> The only logical thing to do is burn the remains so that it can never plague the city again. Makes sense. You exit the sunken dwelling in a fairly high spirits. It is done. Yeah, it is. Then uh, there is only one tumour left to destroy. And then hopefully the rest of these robed madmen will leave the city alone. Nice. But then... You see, you see it across the bay. The other tumour's location at the old docks goes up in a massive column of fire. Ooh. The blast, the blast wave hits you moments later and you are knocked onto you, onto the mud, into the mud. Mm -hmm. You were too late. Ah, uh, we couldn't get the other one. The explosion is surely only the beginning. Okay. You need to make your way to the old docks as fast as you can and stop whatever is coming. Close location, hidden tumour. Okay. And we have a new location of explosive evolution. Okay, cool. Um, and we get 20 experience each. Wow. Well, do you know what that have means? Have you got a pencil? Yes, I do. Do you know what that means? And then... Um, I had four on my dial, which means I get 24, which puts me at 96. Oh, wow, look at that. We also get six for this um, scenario. And coins so are worth I was two. on 96, and then plus another six puts me at 102. And then coins are worth two. Yes. Which means I got two, coins. two plus the five that I had. So I got seven coins. So puts me on 27. both of us level up. Mm hmm so what we're going to do is we're going to level up and we'll be back shortly to let you know what happened. Yep. Right. We have decided. Yes. So, uh, do you want to do the level up or the city event first? I think you do the... Oh, battle goals first. Okay. Battle goals. I did not get my battle goals, so I'll be targeted by three. I thought when I went in that room I was going to be targeted your, by all of them, but they couldn't get through the Your pin goo. cushion. Yes. And no. I uh, just happened to do my altruist, which was collect fewer money tokens than right any other character. End. Yeah, because yeah, you collected that. a second one, which uh, tipped me over the edge. Yes. Uh, we'll do the city event first, and then okay. we'll level up, yeah? Yes. So, the right. city event, this is city event number eight. A black plume of smoke twists through the air over the centre of town. Mm. You follow it and find a crowd gathered along the silent bridge, cheering and clapping. Pushing to the front, you see two enormous mechanical butterfly wings strapped Lesser. to a small quattrel. Love it. Today, the quattrels conquer the sky. He pushes a button on his chest, causing the wings to start flapping and more smoke to pour out. The wings pick up speed, blasting gusts of air That's across the around. onlookers. And with a wide smile, he rises up and up before tumbling down into the Aww. river with a d dramatic splash. God help him. Would we like to... Dive in to help the quattro, or hold back the crowd in case the machine explodes. Oh! Up for help the quattro, down for hold back the crowd. One, two, three. Help we're, the we're diving in. The 
You dive through the billowing smoke and into the frigid water. The Quattrall's limbs are tangled in the wreckage of his wings, but you're able to pull him free and make slow progress towards the riverbank. His eyes open wide when he realises who saved him. The Jaws? Oh, wow. I'm a big fan. And while you can't be sure if it was the impact or meeting you, he passes out. Nevertheless, you saved your life today. Gain 10 XP each. So that was that. That puts me on 112. That puts me 122. Right, so we leveled up. So okay. level three. So I, because I did my battle goal, that gave me a third tick. So I got a perk for that. Yes. The first perk I got was remove two minus ones from my modifier deck. So they nice. are gone. Then, uh, then, 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 uh, I got another perk for leveling up. Yes. Uh, and that was replace one zero with a plus two muddle. Ooh, nice. So I got rid of that, and I'm adding a plus two muddle to my modified deck. Nice. And then I took one of my level three cards. It is Fire Bombs, which is an upgraded version of my, I think it's called Explosive something. Yeah. Uh, it's attack two at range four, but I can target two people instead of one, creating fire. Um, so, I didn't get my battle goal, um, as I explained, so I got a perk for levelling up and a new card. My perk, I removed two minus ones from my deck. Nice. Thin deck's a good deck. Thin deck's a good deck. And then, my new card is Commanding Pre Presence, mm -hmm. um, which allows, it's one of those, move the token cards. Yes, yes, active card. Yeah, yeah, and it allows me... To allow one ally to attack two every, every all the time. Oh, so five, five turns. The downside of that being, I always have to be next to something. What? No, you just have to be within range. Is it a range? Three. Oh, is it a range? Three. three. Oh wow! Oh, that is cool. Well, now, oh yes. Sorry, no, you have to be within. I range. have to be within range three of you, but yes. it's a melee attack yes. to do. Yeah. Gotcha. We'll see how that goes. And if I use it. Yes. So there you go. That was that. Join us next time for either. Oh, no, for Scenario 9. Yes. Explosive, Explosive Evolution. Evolution. We will add that to the map. Mm -hmm. um, and we'll catch you next time. Yeah.